Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Leandra and I'm a second year med student at the Kaiser Permanente School of Medicine in Pasadena, California. I'm part of the inaugural class, which means I am the first group of students to be at the school. So I just finished my first year, I'm in my summer now, and I'm going to reflect on my very first year of medical school. I do have a social media Instagram account, so feel free to follow me there if you're interested. I posted recently a story asking what you all wanted to know about my medical school journey and my experience, so I'm here to address all your questions and comments. So here we go. First thing I'm going to talk about are the academics. So when I think about my first year of medical school, I think that the analogy of drinking water from a fire hose is true. That basically means that it's very overwhelming and you learn so much information. I knew this going in that med school was going to be a lot of information to study, but what I didn't know is what makes it difficult is not the amount of information. What's challenging is that we learn so much in short amount of time. Like the amount of time that we have to learn something is very short and the amount of time we have to study something is very short. I feel like sometimes we'll have two weeks of school to learn something that could have been covered in three months at UCR. The stuff we learn is just so condensed and so compressed and then we're expected to know it and then we'll be tested on it that following Friday when we learned it on Wednesday. So it's just a lot and that's what makes it stressful, that's what makes it difficult for me. My study techniques in med school did change from college. I still handwrite my notes, but I started using flashcards more. I don't use Anki, um, I use Quizlet because I think it's much more user intuitive, user friendly, and it's just more aesthetic and more motivating for me to use it and study off of it. But I do use flashcards because we go through so much information, so I think it does help me retain stuff that we learned earlier in the week, but it just feels like so long ago because I learned so much in that period of time. Uh, something that is different about medical school for sure is the amount of resources that we have. So in college, when I used or went to a class, I would have the professor slides and maybe a textbook as a resource. But mostly it was the professor's office hours and the professor's slides. Here in medical school, we have the professor slides, we have first aid, we have boards and beyond, osmosis, pathoma, sketchy, amboss, and we do have other resources for anatomy as well. So there's a lot, and I really struggled with knowing how to use all these resources. In the beginning of medical school, I thought I had to use everything. If we learned something in school, I wanted to see what AMBOSS had to say. I wanted to see what osmosis had to offer. I wanted to see what Boards and Beyond had something to contribute. And there are little things that differ between all the resources. Sometimes osmosis has something that the other two resources don't have or vice versa. And it was really difficult to navigate all of that on my own and it was so overwhelming. Um, so eventually as med school went on, I realized that I just need to whittle down my resources and I need to focus on the things that work for me. But I, that, that whole process definitely stands out as something that was memorable to me in medical school. There are just so many third party resources out there that the med school promotes and the med school generously provides to us students that I want to take advantage of all of it, but there's just no time and it's not effective for my own schedule to do that. Um, so that's something that I, it was a challenge for sure. In terms of the material itself, I do think that med school is so cool in that everything is pretty relevant. So we will li literally learn about GI pain or that's gastrointestinal or like kind of like your stomach area, your abdomen area like pain or we'll learn about urogenital, um, like painful urination, or we'll learn about a skin lesion, we'll learn about headaches, and then all of a sudden in clinic we I see patients that come in with a skin lesion or that come in with a elbow pain and we learned about the anatomy of the elbow. So pretty much most of the things that we've learned about in school I've seen, um, or in class, I've seen transfer to the clinic. For the most part, things are transferring or aligning very well and I really enjoy that about medical school. Something else that is um, unique for me when I reflect on my medical school journey is the whole process of choosing a specialty. I came into medical school thinking that I was very open-minded um, and since that point, I feel like, yes, that's 
I've just become even more open-minded because I realize that there's so much out there I don't know. I never considered pathology. I never thought about um, just some surgical specialties. I never even thought about radiology. And I don't really know what I want to go into yet, so it is a little bit intimidating, but um, right now I am exploring some of the specialties that I'm most interested in, but we'll see after second year, see if I get a clearer um, picture of what I want. Uh, something that stands out to me in my first year of medical school is the engagement of the faculty. That's something really amazing at our school. I think that because med school is smaller than college, faculty are just more invested in your own success and they're more supportive of students. Uh, faculty, for the most part, like know all of our names. The faculty see you as professional. Uh, in college, there are those professors, I think, that I've interacted with that kind of see you as a number rather than a person, or they don't really make an effort to know your name, they don't really care about what you're trying to aspire to be, or they don't go out of their way to go out and support you. But I do feel here at school, faculty really want to support you. They want to be there with you, and they want to see you happy, and they want to see you thriving. Um, I did want to talk about mental health because I got this question a lot, dealing with stress. It's really hard. I was very stressed during medical school. I remember specifically during a unit, I just felt demoralized and I kept thinking I'm burnt out. Like I'm burnt out in my first year of medical school. This is a problem. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I so stressed and tired and I feel so challenged? I didn't like that feeling. That's kind of my mantra right now is just enjoy my time because every year after is probably going to get harder. I think that it was definitely stressful. I struggled with time management. In the beginning of the year, I totally prioritized school and studying over my mental health, over my physical health. I didn't exercise as much. I was eating poorly. So toward the end of the year, I started to focus on my wellness, both physical and mental. And I think things turned out a lot better for me. But yeah, it was definitely hard. Med school is hard, it's stressful. Um, another thing I wanted to address is confidence is key. I learned that quickly. Well, coming into medical school, I was 21 years old. I'm the youngest one in my class. And compared to everyone else, I felt like I wasn't an adult. I, I just, I'm not like married. I don't have kids. I didn't have a career before this. I, but I learned that like when I'm in the clinic and I have my white coat on, I'm not playing dress up. I'm actually contributing and I, I'm there for a reason. I'm, uh, and that's something I, I slowly learned and I'm slowly continuing to learn. Again, just like self-love, self-care, like telling myself, yes, I'm here for a reason. I can do this. It's been really helpful for me. Um, so now I'm going to address some questions I got a lot. Number one was, do I wish I took a gap year? So if you don't know already, I did not take a gap year. I t graduated from UC Riverside a quarter early, and then I went straight into med school right after. So I had three months pretty much uh, to, for free time. I think that was enough for me. I'm actually really happy I did not take a gap year. I think people take gap years for two reasons. One, or maybe three reasons. One, personal reasons, like, finances or things that happened with their family, um, maybe health issues, things like that. Two, it could be you need to boost your application with clinical experience, research experience, maybe you want to get a master's degree or something like that. Or the third option I've heard is like just enjoying your time and traveling, doing things that make you happy. I think that when I graduated the pandemic started so I wouldn't have been able to travel anyway which is probably what I would have wanted to do. But um, number two, I felt pretty happy with my application, so I didn't, I wouldn't have taken a post back or anything like that. Uh, and I really don't regret uh, going straight through. I think it's it worked out for the best. I don't feel like burned out because I didn't have that time. The path I took to medical school worked really well for me. And another question I got a lot was differences between college and medical school. So I touched upon that a lot in this video, but I will be touching upon that more in the next one and going into depth about how I study in school, in college, and then now. I will be going into depth about research opportunities and the differences like that between college and med school, social life, things like that. 
Um, so be sure to tune in, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.